observed and described children between two and six in the pre-operational stage. The development of language is one of the most significant features through this stage of life, and while these children are able to represent things with words and images, they cannot fully perform mental operations to the capacity that adults can. This means the child cannot perform the operation of transforming, combining, or separating ideas. They use intuitive reasoning rather than logical reasoning. Children in the pre-operational stage are able to focus on only one aspect or dimension of problems. This is often called centration. They also lack the concept of conservation, the principle that quantity remains the same despite changes in shape or arrangement. For example, when four-year-old Julie is shown two glasses of water with equal volumes in each, she is able to determine that they are the same. When the water is poured into a tall, narrow glass, it suddenly seems like more than when it was in the short, wide glass. To us, this seems quite silly because we understand that the experimenter poured the liquid directly from one glass to another and that the amount could not have magically changed. But Julie is focusing only on the height dimension and cannot perform the operation of mentally understanding that the volumes themselves haven't changed. Piaget theorized that before about age six, children lack the concept of conservation. Most pre-operational thought is egocentric. Egocentrism refers to a child's inability to see a situation from another person's point of view because they assume that other people see, hear, and feel exactly the same as they do. The child cannot comprehend that there are other ways of looking at situations and interpreting information. A common example is when three-year-old Timmy makes himself invisible by putting his hands over his own eyes, assuming that if he can't see his grandparents, they can't see him. Or when TV-watching preschoolers block your view of the TV because they assume that what you see is what they see. While preschool-aged children are still mainly egocentric in their thought, they begin developing an, an ability to infer others' mental states, understand others' beliefs, and take on someone else's perspectives as they develop a theory of mind.